<laughs> What'd you say? I'm going to speak loud. I, you know I was recording. I got you again at GreatHipHop.com, the reporter newspaper online.com. As you can see, Mr. 2000, soon to be 3000, is in the building. Accra's number one content speaker, the brother Prophet Dorsey. What's going on, man? Tell everybody your degrees, bro. Well, you know, he always lets, brings me in the gate as the Prophet Dorsey, and I appreciate that, but it's, it's Prophecy Dorsey. That's my government. Then it's Mr. Prophecy MLX, and that connects with my Facebook alias, which is Martin Luther X. And we know that the combination of that is the mind of Malcolm X with the heart of Martin Luther King. Well, speaking about Martin Luther King, man, today we're going to be talking about the new civil rights movement. The now, the new, is that N-U for Nubian or N-E-W for brand new? New for Nubian. You better speak on it, man. The reason being is... Uh, we thought that the civil rights movement ended with our physical freedom. That was just the beginning. We were supposed to still pick up the ball and run with it because the next level of the civil rights movement is to free this culture from mental and spiritual slavery. Mental and spiritual? You know, and a lot of people don't think that's real. A lot of people think they're walking around here making their own decisions, fashioned on their own likeness, not knowing that certain patterns is already in place. Now, what is that called when you walk around with um, some of the adverse effects that slavery had through the genetics? What's that called? Uh, there is a name for that. But you know what I'm talking about. It'll come to us sooner or later. It'll come to me. But, um, uh, but what I will say is... Uh, that's real, though. Yeah. You and, can. And today, today's level of slavery is actually worse. Speak on that. It's actually worse. We have gotten so comfortable. I'ma say this. Let me let me let me give you what my actual what I wanted my actual opening statement to be, opening statement to be. I'm egregiously impressed with the genius of Willie Lynch. That's deep, bro. That was marketing one on one. Like I'm literally I'm, I'm I'm egregiously impressed with the genius. <laughs> Of, of uh, uh, what's his name, Willie Lynch? Now, why is that? Now, we know first tell everybody who Willie Lynch is. Willie Lynch don't know. was a European slave owner that made it easy for our physical freedom to manifest. Now, I'm gonna say that now, it's gonna, it's gonna hurt some people's theology, but he helped our physical freedom to manifest because he told them that they were going about this whole slavery thing wrong. He said, There's a simple way to keep these people docile enough to control them in this land without having to beat the crap out of them, without having to hang them and all of that other extra shit. He said, you can simply put in order three elements that will continue to keep them in slavery for the next 400 to 1,000 years to come. You know those three elements? Jealousy, envy, and distrust. And the easiest way to do it, he said, would be to put the young against the old. Mm-hmm. The, the dark skin against the light skin, mm -hmm. the man against the woman. Mm -hmm. He even said, if you want to destroy the black man, take away his strength. You know, you don't want him to not be strong physically. You want him to not be strong mentally. And the way to do that is to docile him in the home. Put the women in better positions than we put the men. He said, being, the reason being, he said, because if the woman sees herself as the primary caretaker, as the provider, then she will no longer see the need for that man. And she'll begin to emasculate him on her own. She won't need you to do that. Because mm -hmm. she'll see you as superior mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because you're giving her the position she's in. You better in. say it, brother. But she'll see him as inferior because he can't take a position. That's right. And then he's um, um, trying to come home. He almost like the football player who take a bad hit. Get damn near knocked out, and he and he coming home trying to bloviate on her, and yeah. she said, "Boy, I what, what did you say to that dude that just hit your ass in the, yeah, in the this, game? You didn't fight back, right?" Now here's the thing, and that's a reality. And another way to put that is, if I'm a fighter, the reason why I go to my corner 
It's because in my corner are those that are on my team. Speak on that, God. In my corner are those who are going to support me Come and on. tell me I can do it. They're the reason why I'm going to win or lose the fight. Yes, sir. Now, if I lose the fight and they've been 100% in my corner, it just meant that the fight wasn't to be won that day. <laughs> but if I lose the fight because they in my corner and they not supporting me, mm. then they could be the reason why I lost the fight that day. Mm. A woman is your corner. Speak on that. A queen is your corner. Come on. When I come out from the war of the world, I need to be able to come home to my corner. Come I on. need to be able to come home to the one that's going to support you better and say push it. me you better and say push it. the best of me to the surface. Even if sometimes she got to go against my mindset to do it. I, now, me, that's something that we men can't handle, but it's all about how a woman can deliver. Come on, brother. See, so y'all are deliverers. That's why you deliver on, a child. Speak on it. Because you're deliverers. I, you can deliver me man, from my I circumstance. Can you. you can make me better if you just learn how to speak my love language. Dude, come on. If you learn how to actually give me strength instead of taking my strength away. Especially when I come home. When I come I home. Need to be re I need that reset button. I, I need that reset. Reset button and that and, nourishment. And, and, and the reset ain't going to come in how good you lay it down in the it's bed. So that's, not, that, that's, just that's a, a release. That's just the icing on that's the cake. That's a release. That's just a release. It's not a reset. But the, in, the, 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 the empowerment is going to come from when you sit there in my in my vicinity of thinking and you say to me baby what you thinking about and i tell come you how on, my man. baby and you say oh that wasn't nothing but another trial on a warrior's test come on brother and i believe that you passed it with flying colors today, that's what the baby, woman's what you could have done you didn't do speak life into that brother now what you should have done you haven't quite done yet but you're getting there big ups and see, it's all right for her to balance me out like that. It's nourishment. She's it's nourishing. It's all right for her to keep me from getting too egotistical, but keep me from being too humiliated. Come on, brother. That's all right. It's all right for you to leave that man with his integrity and still tell him about himself. You better say it, God. Because it's a way that you can do it. You can you can catch more flies with honey than you can with shit. You better. So if you're going to open your mouth to mm. say some shit, don't open your mouth. Come on. But if you're going to open up your mouth and the shit that come out your mouth is laced with honey, come on. open up your Shitty mouth. Shitty honey, buddy. I, I'm all right with that. <laughs> you better but say I it. can't be all right with you talking shit and the shit only leads to shit. You better say it. But if you're going to talk to me and that shit that you're going to talk going to be the honey of the ground and fertilize my thoughts, then come I'm all on, right boy. with that. Boy, that was real... That was some real sweet shit you just that said. That was some real sweet shit. <laughs> real talk. But no, all jokes aside, man, you know, this new civil rights movement uh -huh. is that we now as leaders who have influence and power, whether it be in music, whether it be in entertainment, whether it be in the community, whether it be in, in politics, we have to take an approach to our culture now where we begin to wake them up the truths that have been held from them. You know, even in our spirituality, you know, we so busy trying to battle over which religion is right that we don't realize that all of these religions are man-made. Every last one of them are man-made. Nobody was born with religion. But we succumb to religion when we're trying to define our spirituality. Come on now. But we don't have to succumb to religion to define our spirituality because we are spirit. We're spirit. We live in the body. Mm -hmm. We possess a soul. So knowing what you are will help you know who you are and you will never have to question it through religion. This is the reason why I can sit down with any religion and I can politic with that religion, allow that religion to hold on to their beliefs and still introduce them to the true God. True this is living the reason God, why, the true and living God, because he lives in me and he lives in them. And if I respect them and I honor what they already know, I can then give another piece to the puzzle without taking away from the puzzle that they already Come on, have. man. Let me ask you a question, brother. So um, when we talk about the new um, civil rights movement, are we talking about preparing ourselves with a new mindset to sh um, break the shackles of what Lynch, really Lynch put in? Exactly. We're trying to break the shackles of our mind. We're trying to go back into our culture and say, the woman is important because she's the queen, not because she's in a better position than the man. We're trying to go in back in there and say, the woman is important because she's with the king, and he has just as much importance as her. And we're trying to become spiritual equals again so that we don't have to look at each other in a docile way, but we look at each other in a very high, hold each other in a very high esteem. Once we hold 
the woman in the high esteem. And once the woman, again, holds the black man in the high, high esteem, then we won't be so insecure that we have low self-esteem and we won't react out of low self-esteem. We won't run around with other women. We won't we won't get caught up in, in uh, drug dealing and all of the crazy stuff that we get caught in trying to survive because we have you to empower us. And I'm going to tell you, though this movement is going to come through leaders like myself, through strong black men, it's going to be manifested and delivered and given birth to by strong Too black say, women. Speaking about the strong black women, you always read something strong. What the hell are you reading today? Well, you know, reading a little bit of this here. You, know, you read everything? You just come here to grab whatever? You know what I mean? You just, economics. Come on, you man. You know what I'm saying? So while we re recording everybody else, you're brushing up. You know what I'm saying? You're doing the black, I call it black economics. Black economics. Everything is black Absolutely. over here, man. Black economics, man. Black economics. You better feel me, man. Hey, in closing, what you got to say, man? In closing, I'll say this. It's time for us to get out of our isms and schisms. And it's time for us to re-embrace our true culture. And the truth of our culture is that we are gods and we are kings and we are queens. And we're so much better than social media has made us out to be. And the way that we're going to overcome what social media is trying to do, because social media has been put in place as a tool to make us anti-social because if we anti-social enough if we willing more to talk to each other on facebook than we are in person then we'll never really get the knowledge that you can't get in college. you better feel me before they kill me baby have some fun and get something done prophecy Peace.